Welcome to Chiro Channel. In this episode, we'll be discussing about Corona virus or COVID-19. We will be discussing about the transmission in layman's term and how it goes or enters the body, the infection of the coronavirus in layman's term and how do we prevent, most especially, the prevention of the infection. And uh, how do we uh, know the transmittal of the virus by knowing the nature of the virus? The novel coronavirus is a respiratory virus that means it is a virus that comes out from the lungs or from the lungs of an infected person. So how does it transmit? Well, the lungs goes out via your nose and so it transmits also or it spread also via the nose and also by the mouth and also some of it the air goes to the gut and then goes to our poo or our fecal matter which also uh, being transmitted via the fecal matter and uh, the major uh, aspect which we consider to prevent the transmission of the virus is controlling the nose expulsion of the air from the nose which the virus can be expelled and the expulsion of air from the mouth through droplets and others another spray coming out from the mouth and also from the fecal matter but less from fecal matter uh, which we heard we heard less uh, of infection with regards to the fecal matter but more so on the nose and the mouth and how do we prevent those transmission by if I am infected and I don't have any symptoms we call it asymptomatic how can I prevent it by using mask see even if I don't have it or even if I have it for example in, in doesn't have a symptom using a mask prevents the transmission of virus by controlling it by your mask see your air being spilled by the nose will now be contained in the mask so 80% according to them 80% uh, will be controlled or will be uh, saved by the mask and also the mouth see if the person is coughing so it will be contained in the mask just prevent touching the mask and also if you are not infected the mask also helps by uh, you, because you cannot put your hands directly to the nose or to your mouth because there's a mask that blocks it. See, that's one thing. Now, how do we, that is transmittal, transmittal of the virus through the nose, mouth, and the fecal matter. And how do we prevent the virus to enter our body? And how does the virus enter our body? Majority of the, uh, of the virus entered through the nose when we inhale the spray coming from the mouth. Take note, when the person is talking, as I am talking right now, I spray, there's an invisible spray that cannot be seen through our naked eyes. And it goes from a distance as high as, as far as a meter. That's why social distancing to prevent from inhaling the spray is two meters according to them or six feet away and uh, it and how do we, uh, the person uh, how how does the virus enters again going back to the topic it enters through the nose when you inhale mm, you inhale the virus and when you're talking you open your mouth and the virus enters the mouth and when your eyes is open wide the enter the virus also enters through the eyes. See? Take note. You cannot see the virus. You cannot see uh, the spray, the invisible spray. But it matters if you control those. That is the prevention. That's what we are dealing with right now. 
So how do we prevent it? Now, we prevent this transmission by uh, listening the transmission by using the mast. And then, how do you prevent from, from the virus entering through your body? Of course, always hand washing, always hand washing because you are touching anything and then later on you'll be uh, putting your mouth on your nose or your mouth and unconsciously so you'll be infected or through your eyes will you see itchy nails of your eyes so that's why it's to prevent them hand washing and also when someone talks to you put a distance of at least two meters but there's more it's better more than less now aside from that if you can afford to buy mask if there is a mask available wear mask yeah and not only mask because there, the eyes is still open right so the virus can still enter through the eyes what you can do is buy a cheaper plastic sunglasses like this one is equivalent to uh, 50 cents in us dollar or 50 cents or or three pesos there, there's in in market in the philippines where there's this is just around three pesos so buy those plastic ones the toy ones can be because the virus the spray of the virus deflects from the glasses so it doesn't enter immediately to the eyes see and now if in case there is no available mask or if there is available it's too expensive for you and you cannot afford especially um you would rather buy food rather than buy must you can't afford to buy mask. so what i would suggest is ba -ba -ba! Hung, the use of a handkerchief the use of a handkerchief now use a large hunky to cover your nose and mouth like this one and use a cloth that is not cotton but something like a uh, uh, water repellent uh, material or something like a rubbery material or like like this jersey one uh, a shiny one so those are somewhat like a water repell repellent one and then and then with the glasses mm, hola, you get it you've got better protection than nothing now now, in case if you don't have this large, big uh, hunky, you have t-shirt at home. We have t-shirt at home. And again, use the t-shirt that are like water repellent or something like uh, shiny or some like polyester, something like that. So, no, use that one and cover it. Put it in your head like this. Mm -hmm and then cover it see with the sunglasses voila! you have now another protection see now you can do anything you like with the t-shirt you can also do it this way for more protection yeah Mm -hmm. see Hola! see you can also do that one for better protection and lastly wherever you go always bring a huge plastic thingy because if you forget everything this can save you why the bigger one the no, do not use the black garbage bag. Aside from it, if you use the black garbage bags, it covers your eyesight because it's black. Use the white one because the black one, sometimes the black garbage bag has insect insecticide. So it's not good for you to inhale. So why the white plastic one is safer, more safer. So yeah, put the big, the big one, okay? The bigger one so you can cover everything. See? Now, I can still see and I am protected, so I don't need glasses and I don't need a mask. I am somehow protected by the plastic thingy. 
So the spread will be minimized rather than no protection at all. I have no shame wearing this one in a public transport. I do not care as long as I am and I feel safe. Now, as I've said, be cautious and always think of your safety and spread what I'm sharing to you because this is helpful to all of us. Let the virus starve and kill the virus and stop spreading it. Be safe. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day.